Hi, welcome to my tutorial on creating a stopwatch timer for racing and also recording players top scores in the inbuilt leaderboard system for your experience. This is an exciting one, let's jump in. First we're just going to create some lines to dictate start and finish of the race. Cool. Next we're going to go to the gameplay. We're going to click the game rules and we're going to go ahead and add a variable. That variable is going to be a time. So we're going to go click time, click next. It uh, doesn't matter for global. Global is good for multiplayer. Local is good for single player. Here we're going to say stopwatch. We want to display at the start of the game. We'll have the position at the bottom and we'll just say stopwatch and click create. Awesome. Next we're going to go to rules. We're going to click game screen and click display variable on HUD. This one doesn't matter what you put here, you just click show. Uh, we want to show the stopwatch and we want it to be true. So when the game begins, we can see the stopwatch. So if we click tab, have a look, you should see our stopwatch at the bottom of the screen uh, and it won't begin until we send a message to it. So after this loads, you'll be able to see that. And you can see stopwatch says zero. Um, you can also go to the rules, go back to your variable stopwatch and you can change the formatting so there's more zeros. So when you go back to test, instead of that single zero, uh, you'll see a whole bunch of zeros, more like a, a clock, a stopwatch. Next we want to trigger that. So uh, what we're going to do is press L, click on logic and we're going to bring a logic asset. And we're going to bring it out and we're going to attach a new component in 0.9. It's called volume. Volume's like a speaker that detects the avatar, um, but it specifically sends message when you enter the area and it sends a message when you exit the area, which is really cool. Go ahead and make it a box and we'll say eight by one by one. So that way we have a box like this and we can send a message as soon as the player enters the area. So we can say start stopwatch. So when an avatar enters this area, it will send a message start stopwatch and we can duplicate with control D, drag that to the end of the line and we can say uh, stop timer. Cool, so we got our start stopwatch and our stop timer. Now let's go to gameplay, game rules. Now we're gonna add a rule and that rule is a time-based rule so we go to time and we want to start the stopwatch so we click stopwatch drag it into here and we're going to say start stopwatch so when we enter the start stopwatch in the volume trigger it will send to here and what we want to do is start the time variable the stopwatch timer now if you say message to stop and we put our stop command here, it will put the timer to zero. So we don't want to do that. So we'll go to rules and we'll say pause time. And here we can pause the time when the player reaches the end and hits the stop timer. And that timer will be our stopwatch. And we want it to be true that it stops. So we'll go ahead and press tab to test it out. So as soon as we walk past this line, you can see our timer has begun. And we go ahead and we can have obstacle courses and people race it against each other. And then once the player reaches the end, we've got our timer and it stops there. And the very last thing you want to do is go to our game rules and click rankings. Here we can add leaderboards to our experiences and record players best scores. The way we want to do that is to start stopwatch. So to start recording the results of a player, it needs that message. Now we want to add the variable that decides the player's rank. That variable is stopwatch variable. And we want to create a global ranking. So it, it ranks all the players across all sessions, not just for the one that's played now. And that's it. So when you do a victory screen, um, it should record the stopwatch and have a leaderboard for you and your players so you can race against each other. And you can do ascending or um, descending scores, depending if you want the faster or the slower timer. Um, these are just placeholder numbers, uh, but this is how it works. 
So that's how you set up a timer for a race and an inbuilt leaderboard system. Hope that's been useful. Have a great day.